Hi, this is Ken Urban for CSC 125. We're going to do a little more work with our linked list. Um, right now, um, in the linked list class we have, we have, can stick stuff in the front of the list, and we can stick stuff to the back of the list. Let's talk about um, removing stuff from the list. Uh, I'm going to make a function called remove from front, and it's not going to take any arguments. Um, it returns a string, so I think what I'll do in this is that th there's a list of all connected elements, and I'm going to take the data from the first one and return it from this function. If we want to ignore it, we can ignore it, but um, that's what we're going to send back. So, let's go in and, and start sticking it in here. It's a member of the linked list class, so we have to put the linked list class in front of it. Um, and let's go out into main, and then um, we have inserted front, then, and then print out the list. And then we could do like um, right, we can say that something was removed, and then we can look at the linked list afterwards, right? So we're going to take something out of the front and then we're going to look at that list when we're done. So the code for it um, is going to be in steps. Um, we're going to have to kind of hang on to things for later on to just so, so we don't like kind of lose track of them. Um, I'm going to need a node pointer. Ah, oops, I hit tabs there. Uh, let's call it delete me. This is going to be the, the node that's going to be um, deleted. And I'm going to make a string called return me. This is a value that's going to go back. Right, so uh, we'll, we'll use those later on. Um, the Actually, we're going to set the delete me up to be the um, first node, right? Because that's the one that's eventually going to get deleted. Right? And then, now that we've, we've safely grabbed on to delete me, actually, we know what return me is going to be. That's going to be my head arrow. Oops, that's not right. My head arrow. Uh, get data, All right? So it's going to go into the node, get out the data, and pull that back. Um, so we know what we want to delete. Um, we know what we're going to send back from our routine. So now we can start kind of fixing things. We can move um, uh, Um, so we can go, oh, wait, wait, yeah, wrong, wrong, that's why it didn't work. My head, uh, get it. next, right, so we'll move that up there. Now, when we're removing it, we need to take into consideration the fact that we may be going from one element down to no elements, which means that, um, Right, we could have just deleted the last node that was in there, and if we did delete the last node, we need to make sure that the tail gets set to that. I mean, because the tail could have been pointing there, right? When we go from one node down to zero nodes, um, so we, we've got head pointing at what was the second element, um, and tail pointing where. It always was, unless, of course, we, we shrunk it down now. Head is set up, tail is set up, so the new list is okay. Now we've just got to clean up the old stuff, and we can do that by deleting delete me and returning return me. Right? So, but basically, the, the big thing is that we're just going to move the head pointer up to the next one. 
but we're going to need to clean up after ourselves uh, when we're done. And um, let's test this and make sure it works. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, head is a pointer, so I need an arrow there. I bet you you've been screaming that for 10 minutes now. There we go. Okay, so it says the beginning was removed, so now it contains the middle, the first end, and the second end. Um, I mean, of course, we would need to, to kind of test this a little more thoroughly, but uh, you can do that on your own. You don't need to watch me do that. Um, thank you.